Hey, how's it going there, YouTube? This is Sick Air back again with another video, and today I'm going to be going over a launcher that I just found out about. Um, I may be a little late to the party, but hey, I just found out about this launcher, and I uh, think that it works really, really well with the Samsung Galaxy S9. So, um, if you're looking for an alternative to Samsung Home Experience, I highly suggest looking up this launcher. It's an excellent launcher, um, has a lot of great features, and it works really, really well and just looks excellent with the Samsung Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, uh, Note 8, S8. It just feels like it goes really, really well with Samsung, and this is the Microsoft Launcher, and you could find this on the Play Store. It is a free launcher. Let me go ahead and show you some of the uh, photos right here. When you first set it up, it's going to ask you a whole bunch of information as far as if you want to sign in to your Microsoft account. Um, you get to choose your look. You have a light, dark, and transparent options on the right there. And it's an excellent launcher. I think it works really, really well. And it just looks great with the Samsung device. It's very sleek and professional. And uh, there's a lot more customization than the regular Samsung Home Experience, as you can see. Uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the options you have. You have a uh, infinity, infinite scrolling on your home screen. So you could go all the way around, round robin, all the way around. Uh, you also have an option for feed, which I turned off. If you sign into your Microsoft account, it'll give you some like news and you know information on this feed. But it reminds me too much of like a Bixby type thing or HTC feed thing. So I just went ahead and turned it off uh, for the time being. I did sign into my Microsoft account, but I really don't use anything from Microsoft. Once you download this, you will have a folder over here pre-installed with the ability to download uh, Microsoft apps like Word, Excel, um, Internet Explorer. I went ahead and just removed it because I don't really use any of that stuff. But if you want to, the options are there. It also gives you an option to use Cortana for your main search or Google. Uh, right when you first download it and install it, it's going to be default at Bing for your search. But you could also change it to do uh, Google as well. So let me go ahead and show you some of the features on it. Uh, you have your swipe up gestures for your app drawer. Now, I would have preferred this to be vertical scrolling, but it is horizontal, just like the Samsung one. Um, the vertical scrolling is alphabetical like this, a list. And I really don't like that. I just want the regular scrolling. and uh, But I could deal with the horizontal. It's fine. That's the only gripe I have about it. And another gripe actually is... No notification badges on the bottom, which I don't know why I can't get a notification badge on um, my messages to pop up. Everywhere else it does. See my YouTube right there, Facebook, uh, Power Director, but not at the bottom. So I don't know if it's just a dock thing or what. But you also have a, a swipe up dock, which allows you to swipe up and you get add multiple icons. Uh, or apps to your dock right here you have your top row and then you swipe up and then you have an extra bottom row with an app drawer button if you prefer or you could just replace it with an app but it's really really nice you get a whole bunch of toggles down here you get a flashlight toggle which works you can control your brightness uh, the airplane mode your signal really really nice and you also click right there it takes you to your settings of the launcher and um, you also have uh, it comes with a weather widget its own widget but uh, I went ahead and took that off and just installed the Samsung ones but it works great with Samsung uh, let me go ahead and show you the customization options uh, you go into launcher settings and you get a whole bunch of customization you could personalize it you got your wallpaper the it comes with a whole bunch of wallpapers pre-installed uh, you can do raw paper rotation to where it'll switch 
wallpapers daily, which is pretty nice. Uh, you got your theme, which uh, right now I have it on dark. You could choose transparent, dark, light. I go ahead and I have it on dark right now. You could choose your accent color of what you want everything to look like. Um, like your headers and all. It's really, really uh, customizable. You could adjust your app drawer icons. You could choose round, white square dark round dark square i went ahead and just have it set like that uh your home screen you could customize your icons and your layout your columns your roles um the size of your icons there's a lot of customization here a lot more than the samsung home experience and you could also adjust your dock how many columns you got in your dock uh your app drawer icons in your app drawer and your notification badges it shows that it's working and apps with notifications you could choose what you want to show as far as notifications come up and i have everything checked on that and you also have your feed control you can control your feed that page that i showed you earlier um you also have a whole bunch of gestures swipe up gestures swipe down gestures double tap um, there's a whole bunch of different type of uh, gestures. It also gives you, like I said, the uh, the uh, the option to use Cortana too. Uh, if you were to sign into your Microsoft account, you can use Cortana. Um, that's just if you choose to. Right now, like I said, I use Google, and you could also control the system language, 24-hour clock, or restart Microsoft Launcher, but. I've been using this for almost a day already, and I can tell you that I definitely like it better than the Samsung Home Launcher. It just looks looks great, works great, very nice and sleek and professional looking, and have not had any problems other than a little batch thing. I'm loving this launcher, so I suggest you guys check it out. I will post the link in the description down below, and um, it's just excellent, especially when you unlock it. It just does a little animations. You can take the animation off when you go into, uh, I believe it is personalization. Yeah, if you go to high performance mode, it'll turn off visual effects. So it'll uh, sort of, I don't know if it, yeah, see, it's really, really a lot more snappier. There's not that much animation going on with that, but. I really don't have a problem with performance, so I'll just keep it at normal. But that's pretty much it, guys. This is the Microsoft Launcher. Uh, I suggest you check it out. Great alternative to the Samsung Home Experience. Um, like I said, I'll post the link in the description down below. And you can get it on the Play Store. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.